even though I enjoy math for its beauty, I think I always feel the need for a reference point, which could be an application in the world or unification of two subjects, so, something beyond the, the um, stripped down formal mm -hmm. content. But I really understood what math was about only in uh, the 10th grade when I uh, took Euclidean geometry and I fell in love with the subject. It was so pure, so pristine, so clean, and so amazing that you could prove things uh, through uh, pure logical reasoning. I used to pretend to be sick so that I could stay home and solve geometry problems. The great majority of the combinatorial problems that arise in applications, whether in pure mathematics or in scheduling factories or designing computer chips or making timetables for schools or dispatching taxi cabs or an enormous number of everyday problems, packing uh, your suitcases into the trunk of your car. Analyzing programs, which was the, which was the subject of your yeah. thesis. Yeah. An analyzing programs. There's this vast terrain of combinatorial decision problems and related also so-called optimization problems. Most of them, if they're formulated as yes-no decision problems, like can you or can you not color the graph with three colors, most of them lie in this class of non-deterministic polynomial time problems, NP. the class NP. At the present time, there, there is no rigorous demonstration that the classes P and NP are different from each other. And that's generally considered the, um, the biggest open problem in computer science and maybe one of the half dozen most significant open problems in all of mathematics. Mm -hmm. And in fact, among the open problems in mathematics, it may be the one that has the greatest philosophical significance because it deals with the, the very nature of proof. So I presented a paper at a conference at IBM uh, in which I unveiled my list of 21 problems. It was perhaps the first occasion where the theory of computing directly had bearing on problems out there in the real world. It happened to be sort of the sweet spot, you might say, where the, the typical difficulty of optimization problems in the real world was captured by the class NP. Computer is uh, many things. It's an artifact. It is uh, an industry. How do the, all these aspects of computation affect uh, computer science and especially the theory? We need to turn our attention to models different from those we used before. So for many decades, the uh, Turing machine model uh, held center stage and it was adequate for most of our investigations. In the case of a Turing machine, the task is, is very simple. You have a single user computing a single function. And by contrast, uh, with the World Wide Web, what we have is a dynamic community of agents, partly cooperative, partly adversarial, uh, conducting economic and social transactions. We're entering a phase of personalized medicine now where it may be possible to tailor medical treatments according to the particular genetic structure of an individual. For that, we have to analyze complete genomes to understand which genetic mutations or variants create susceptibilities to disease. So it's a huge combinatorial problem. Starting around 1991, I began to devote myself to combinatorial problems arising in computational biology, and I've continued to do that for over 20 years now. <laughs>